All right, this fifth part of my video tutorial on how to use some of the features in Windows 7 is going to be the last one I'm doing for now. Now, I didn't say it was going to be the last one. It's just the last one I'm doing for now. Once I learn more about Windows 7, I'll probably be posting further instructions up on how to do it. But for now, the reason I have left this for last is because what I'm going to go over in this segment is more complex than anything I've already gone over or shown you. And that is how to configure Internet Explorer to run properly. Now, uh, I, I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. I just want to point out that I, had, I actually did re-enable Internet Explorer, and now I have both Internet Explorer and Google Chrome on my computer. Because uh, again, it's just, to me, they run the same, and I just didn't, again, want people to think I'm being biased because of what I talked about in the browsers. Okay, getting right into it. Configuring Internet Explorer to run properly. I'll explain what I mean by that. Usually when you install Internet Explorer or Internet Explorer and gets installed, you get these on-screen menus about how you want to configure it. You know, you go through the phishing filter, do you want to turn on suggested sites, um, uh, com uh, clear compatibility tab, just things like that. Those are all well and good, but the stuff I'm going to show you now isn't automatically configured or checked off or set through those screens and they can't be they can only be set by doing what I'm about to bring you through so using my internet options I'm going to show you what how to configure Internet Explorer right and come to think of it this probably explains why I'm not having a problem with my Internet Explorer while other people are all right so getting right into it I made a shortcut with internet options now the first thing obviously you want to do is open it so once it's open I'm going to bring your attention to the general tab here because I'm just going to go straight from one end to the other. Okay, first off, you want to, when you use your computer, your computer stores um, any web page you've ever been to uh, somewhere in a temporary Internet Explorer file. So basically, the more pages, the more places you go to, the more and more stuff gets stored in these, inter these temp files the slower your computer is going to run because it's storing and using more data and more data and more data. And this isn't just for pages, web pages you go to. This is pictures you look at, audio you listen to, any shortcuts you make, anything. It's all stored on your computer. So any your browsing history, your Google browsing history, anything, you ever type a word in and then it shows up on Google on the main page. If you've noticed, everything I've typed into Google, if I'm not using Google Chrome, doesn't show up and I have no, I have no you know, suggested sites or anything in there. So I'm going to show you how I did that because all that stuff slows your computer down, believe it or not. All right, first things first. As I had said, you don't need all these toolbars inside your computer. It's pointless. You only need to make Google your homepage. Do what you want. It's your computer. I'm just telling you. For all, I never have problems with my computer, and it doesn't run slow. So, And this is what I do. All right. So basically, I set Google to my homepage, period. I have a search engine. That's all I need. And I set to use current. Now, what I do is whenever I go to a web page, I don't want it sitting in my history. So I check this box off, which deletes my browsing history upon exit. So basically any website I go to, as soon as I exit Internet Explorer, it disappears. It's gone. I never went there. Now, um, what I'm going to do is you don't want to go to the settings tab, but if you go to delete, you want to check, you want to click delete. And you the first three things on this are normally checked off, but you want to check form data, passwords, and private filtering data as well. You want all these options checked off. So when you delete them, it's not just deleting your history your forms, forms or anything you filled out in the internet, like passwords and, you know, emails and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you keep that constant. Um, I usually, when I come in here, when the search defaults, I don't like Bing. So I right click on it and I disable it. I don't like Bing suggestions at all. So I make sure that's disabled. Um, I don't even get into the middle of tabbing. I don't like tabs. You can go to tabs and mess around with this page, but I'm not going to get into this page with you. All right. Now, what we're going to do is basically the only things I touch in the general tab are setting my homepage and delete browsing history on exit and then delete. And I don't even bother going into the settings. I just leave it as is. Okay. The next tab is your security, but I don't touch that. I leave that exactly as it is. And I enable protected mode, which should already be enabled. That brings me to the privacy tab. This is one of the tabs that actually allow you 
uh, the consistency of getting into the internet uh, on the internet because your internet needs cookies which basically are familiarizing yourself with the site because if it doesn't recognize the site it won't open it and says you need cookies enabled this is the screen you enable cookies from in case you're wondering where that screen is first of all on the screen on the main interface I always make sure turn pop turn on pop-up blocker then disable toolbars and extension when in private browsing starts and do not collect any data for use in in private filtering you can look up what in private filtering is on your own what I'm going to tell you the most important piece of uh, the important, most important tab in this privacy, uh, most important option in this privacy tab is this advanced option here. This advanced option is what allows you to look at the websites without having an issue. So what you want to do in this is when you first open this, not this is blacked out. You have to check this off to enable all these options, and you want to do automatic override cookie handling first party and third party cookies you want on accept and then you want always allow session cookies then you click OK that tab is done you do content now your content is also important I usually clear SSL slate just because I like to clear it um, you can look up what that is but I'm keeping the main focus on here this right here the settings button in the content tab is your most one of your most important options for privacy even though privacy tabs are over here and here's why I say this you want to click settings and in settings here if you notice I have nothing checked off in here basically when you check something off in here when you go to an address bar anything you type in it's now gonna remember forms if I type the out forms when I type my name, any form I go to, it's going to remember I type my name in, and that's where you're seeing your name typed in in an email. If you went to another email on the same computer, it would type the name up. It's because it's remembering what you're filling in the forms. Uncheck everything, and it doesn't have any way of knowing what you did. Then I usually click Delete Autocomplete History, which is the same thing as this. So then, once that's done, I click OK. Now for the connections most important thing in this connection is your LAN settings you absolutely need to make sure automatically detect settings is checked off or you're gonna have a problem connecting to the internet or pages that is the only thing you need checked off in there everything else needs to be blank then you click OK the next tab is the advanced tab which is the most complex thing in here because what you have to do in this tab is forgetting about everything else the most important important things is to scroll all the way down see what I have here checked off I have used TLS 1.2 1.1 1.0 3.0 2.0 all these need to be checked off because these allow your internet to run smoother end of story so a quick overview the advanced tab you want to scroll down the bottom and make sure all this stuff is checked off the TLS's and the SSL's the connection tab you want to go to the LAN and make sure automatically detect settings is checked off and nothing else the content you want to go to settings make sure none of these forms are going to remember what you're doing it's for privacy actually in my opinion privacy tab you're going to go to the advanced you're going to make sure overall automatic cookie handling is, is checked off these two are checked off at the top plus this security don't need that in general in general you want to make sure that's delete browsing history on exit is checked off and delete and that is I don't use tabs so you can mess around with that and then you click apply and okay now when you go to the uh, web page your internet your internet will run perfectly on Internet Explorer and that ends my segment Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun explaining this stuff to you, giving you little secrets and stuff here and there, and adjusting stuff and helping the Windows 7 people. Enjoy. I really had fun. Thanks for watching. And subscribe and make comments on my videos, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.